Okay, um, what I did, I got the scope working a little bit better, is I went ahead and hit shift, and uh, then I hit uh, display, which meant utility because I'm in the shift mode. And once I did that, uh, I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with this, uh, this light here. All right, see if that'll work. Then what I did is I went ahead and I hit uh, system configuration right there just to see what was going on. Then I hit this one, which was uh, tech erase memory. And then I hit your uh, lower button right here, which is uh, the OK button. These represent uh, these buttons right here or uh, menu selections represent these menu selections and these one across the bottom represent these ones across the bottom right here so by hitting this one I was hitting the OK to erase setup and reference uh, memory so I did that so boom and then it started uh, working better I uh, see you can set the scope up so it automatically come up with multiple traces or multiple things and it says uh tech operation complete all way from memory and setup memory has been erased and verified plus clear menu to remove this message so you hit clear menu down here i think if i get it to focus which is this button boom and it'll go off screen and then you'll get your uh you'll get your um waveform back so uh, in order to adjust the waveform you adjust your your voltage level here and you get back and then you can adjust your uh, trigger level and it should lock onto it okay now if you want to know uh, <clears throat> uh, how to set your triggers a little bit better you can hit uh, trigger menu right here and then the trigger menu uh, will come up uh, on the sides right here. Sorry about the focus there. Right here. This is what channel you're going to trigger on. Uh, you have more options here. You have uh, your slope, your channel, and different types of uh, triggering right here. So you can come over here and you can hit the uh, uh, edge type. And then by pressing the edge type again, uh, you can go logic. You can go pulse, and uh, obviously it's going to be different for each one. I usually just use edge. Then you could go to uh, uh, you can go to DC to change it to AC. Uh, this just tells you what the source is, which is over here. I don't believe you can option that. Let me see. Uh, it's the third one over. No, it won't let you option it. So let's hit the one next to it. That's your DC. Uh, so now it gives you an option menu over here Which you normally would get on a regular scope the older type scopes. It would be um, <clears throat> Let me go see if I can't find one over here So you'd have different types of options over here where you have AC rejection uh, Different things you can also get that over here on some of your older scopes uh, more or should say uh, more modern than than the old uh, analog ones even though this is analog but I mean it's got digital programming in it where this has no digital programming whatsoever in it so you can end up with different options and the thing is is about the TDS series is you get these options uh, but it's in the form of digital controls through menus and stuff which is good because it gives you more options it gives you more uh, Basically, it just gives you more options. Uh, the bad part about it is uh, there's a learning curve on these older scopes, or the, on the little bit newer scopes. And these operate, operate very similar to the new uh, MDOs and DSOs because they, they came from this particular type of uh, programming and, and family. Uh, although they're new families now, it, it, they originated from this, and this originated from the old uh, TDS uh, 2000 type series scopes which originated from the you know the 400 type series which originated from the 200 and the 500 series it's very interesting uh, tectronics history anyways back to this uh, so you can uh, get your I'm 
I'm really sorry about the bright light, but if I don't have it on, then I won't have a light over here uh, on this scope where you can read it, and that's important for you guys to be able to read that. So um, let's go ahead and let's go to slope. See, right now it's, it's triggered on the positive going slope. You can see right here. The one thing about the digital scopes is that when they trigger, they trigger in the center of the screen rather than on the edge of the screen, which is where uh, the older style scopes trigger. And the reason they do that is so you can see a little bit before it and a little bit after it. Uh, the bad point about that is, is that you don't have uh, uh, this information out here. And the way you get that information though is you adjust your horizontal display. Then where you're triggered at on your horizontal display will show up in here. This tells you, this is uh, where the bracket is, is your viewable, viewable screen. Uh, this shows you where your actual signal is being processed up here. So, but you can change your uh, times per division and get more information that way. Uh, you can do, uh, you can stop your uh, screen by hitting this and it'll actually freeze the screen. And then you can hit run again run stop button again and it'll it once again it'll be active like that so if you hit stop again uh, you can measure it by uh, hitting your measure button here and what your measure button will do is it'll bring up this menu and select the type of measurements you want um, you can also it, which it'll you know you can measure your period your frequency your positive width you know all those things so let's go ahead and uh, let's hit frequency, which would be the second one. Boom. And it'll display it up here on your screen. Uh, now let's say you want to do something different. Let's say you want to do a manual uh, thing. You can hit cursor and it'll bring your cursor menu up right here. Let's uh, try your vertical bars, uh, which is your second one. Horizontal bars. And then you adjust your bars by doing this. I'm sorry, that, that's why I wanted vertical bars. I hit the wrong one, I'm sorry. Well, let's, while we're here, we'll just go ahead and do this. This is your, uh, like your voltage, and it will display it up on top up here, right up here. Now to select your other bar, which is on the bottom, your lower, you just hit select, and then you use this knob to adjust it. And the one that's not select, the one that's selected will be a solid bar, and the one that's not selected will be dashed right up here. So that tells you what the voltage is. That's uh, basically uh, 496 millivolts. Uh, the the value below it is where this is actually at. This bar is at. So if I hit select and select this one, this one should be about minus. Uh, 496 minus that which is what 492 millivolts so let's hit select and you see it's 492 millivolts so that's how you use the uh, horizontal bars for measuring uh, you can go ahead and hit the vertical bars which is, should be this one and which it is and now you have the option of measuring your frequency now here's your other one tells you it's uh, way over here so what you have to do and also the red tells you that it's off screen so you're not getting you're not seeing this portion you're actually seeing this plus whatever's way out here and the way you can do that is you go ahead and adjust your cursor and you can see it moving up here on top right there and as it comes in the color will change or your bar there you go so now you can bring this over here. Let's do a full wavelength. Let's go right in the middle here. Boom. And then we'll we'll hit the select. And we'll hit the uh, the other horizontal bar. Bing. And that'll tell you uh, what your uh, one millisecond. It'll tell you what timing it is in relation to your trigger, which is where your T is right down here. So you can see that the scopes are, are very useful and uh, are a lot of fun. Unfortunately, this one has uh, got problems uh, with the display. I'll figure it out. But uh, I just wanted to give you all a, just a quick little update on what's going on with the scope. And 
and things. I don't know how long it'll be before I fix it. <laughs> I still got a, a couple other scopes I need to work on and fix before I really get to this, but I wanted to uh, go ahead and uh, give you guys a little update on, on this and a little bit on how to use it. So, But there's a, there's a lot more to it. Uh, but that's just a quickie for y'all. Y'all have fun. If, uh, if you learned something from it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you do give me a thumbs down, and occasionally I get them, please comment as to why you gave me a thumbs down, because sometimes I'm really scratching my head. It's like, what was wrong with this video, you know? So anyways, thanks a lot, guys. Have fun, and uh, we'll catch you later.